The list is the most versatile data type available in Python, which can be written as a comma separated values between square brackets. Each element or value that is inside a list is called an element. Just as strings are defined as characters between quotes, lists are defined by having values between square brackets. The lists have tons of use cases and are frequently used by Python developers. So if you are a beginner, then this video is for you. Because in this video, we are going to look at 10 list methods in Python. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video. Let's say we have this list and we want to add more elements to this list. There's a method in Python called insert that we can use on list to add more elements to them. So all we have to do is we have to say langs, which is the name of the variable where I'm storing my list dot insert. And this insert method is going to take two arguments. The first argument is going to be the index value where we want to insert our new element. So let's say I want to insert this new element after this Java. The index will be two. That's because Python is at zero. Uh, Java is at index one and our new element is going to be at index two. So I'll give this uh, method two as a first argument. The next argument will be the element itself that we want to insert. So let's say PHP. If I hit enter, print out the langs you can see i have inserted php after this in java element so now let's say i want to add an element but i want to add it at the end of my list i can use this insert method but there's a specific uh, method inside python that we can use to do this job so the method is called append and as the name suggests it appends an element at the end of our list so we can say langs dot append and give it the element that we want to append. So let's say C sharp. So if I hit enter, print out the list, you can see we have added C sharp at the end of our list. So now let's say I want to pop out the last element from my list. So I can say langs.pop. Hit enter, you can see we have popped out C sharp from our original list. Now if I print out the list, you can see C sharp doesn't exist in our original list anymore. So we have popped out this C sharp element out of our list. Next, let's say if we want to reverse our list and there's a method called reverse, which we can use to do that. So we can say langs dot reverse hit enter print out the list you can see we have reversed the order of our list so this is how easily we can reverse lists with python the next method is the count and this method counts the number of times an element occurs in our list so let's say i want to count for how many times does this java element occur in this list so i can say langs dot count and give it an argument that will be the element that i want to count so if i hit enter i should get one because java only exists one time in my list so if i hit enter you can see we get one so now let's append this java element one more time hit enter print out the langs so now we have java two times in our list so if i say langs dot count java we should get two hit enter you can see we get two. So now let's say I want to make a copy of my list and there's a very easy way to do that. Let me show you how to do that. Let's define one more variable. Let's say langs2 and set it equal to langs. This is the list that we want to copy dot copy. Hit enter. If I print out langs2 now, you can see we get the same list as this list. So we have copied our original list and stored it inside this langs2. So now let's see how we can combine two lists. So as you can see, I have one list langs and another list langs too. And what I want to do is I want to combine both of these lists. And the way we can do that is we need to say langs dot extend. And this extend method will extend my langs list by this langs two list. So I can say langs langs2 hit enter print out langs you can see all the elements of langs2 has been copied inside this langs list so this is how we can combine two lists there's another method of doing this and the way we can do that is we can say so we can say langs plus langs2 and we will get the same effect it will combine these lists together now let's say we want to sort our list and the way we do that is we can say langs dot sort if i hit enter print out langs you can see 
our list has been sorted in alphabetical order but in order for this sort to work you should have all the elements of same data type if you have if you have a list of different data types then the sort method is not going to work so let me give you an example if i add an integer to our original list so langs dot append one hit enter print out langs you can see we have added one more element which is an integer to our list so now if i try to sort it blank start sort hit enter you can see we get an error now let's see how we can remove an element so so we have our list so now let's see how we can remove this integer one from our list all we have to do is we have to say lang start remove give it the element that we want to remove and hit enter print out our list you can see that element one has been removed from our list and the way this remove works is it finds the first instance of this element that we specified to it and it removes that if we have multiple instances then it's only going to remove the first one and finally let's see how to delete all the elements from our list so all we need to say is langs dot clear hit enter print out our list you can see all the elements are gone so these were some methods that we can use on our list there are a few more you can i'll leave a link down in the description below you can check them out this is it for this video i hope you learned something new from this video give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions you can comment down below like share subscribe i'll see you in the next one